Hi everyone, Coach Holly here, and I'm going to be talking about how figures work and what figures are today. Before I even talk about figures, I just want to mention what FINA is. So FINA is the International Swimming Federation, and they oversee all aquatic sports, including artistic swimming. I will mention FINA a few times throughout the video. So a question I get a lot from people that are new to the synchro community are what are figures? So according to FINA, a figure is a combination of basic body positions and transitions performed in a manner and order as prescribed by the FINA handbook rule descriptions. So what does that mean? I have an example here of a figure called Ariana. So they've given us the description of this figure and shown us what positions we have to go through and how we have to move to each of those positions. This figure is a 13 to 15 figure, but that could change when the new set of figures come out. There are different figures for each age group. Some figures are more basic and some are more challenging, but all have basic positions that they want to be shown, as well as transitions on how to get from one position to the next. For the most part, we want figures to be slow and controlled, but there are some exceptions to that. The figures for each age group typically change every four years and are selected by FINA, but your national or provincial organization may have some modifications to them. Typically, athletes compete four figures, two of which are compulsory and are swam at every competition, and two which are drawn. Compulsory figures are the same two figures that are swam at every competition. In the case of 13 to 15 figures, currently the compulsory figures are Ariana and Rio. These compulsory figures will change when a new set of figures is released. You can see here the pictures of Ariana and Rio that we're provided with in the FINA handbook. And this is what coaches and judges refer to so that we're all on the same page in what's being competed. The other two figures that athletes compete are non-compulsory figures. Which group is being competed will be drawn before the event takes place. As you can see here, in the current 13 to 15 figures, there are three groups of optional figures. Group one consists of Jupiter and Oceana, group two is Albatross, Half Twist, and Swordtail, and group three is Porpoise, Continuous, 720, and Seagull. Groups are drawn, not individual figures, so it will always be the same two figures that are drawn together. Having different groups of figures allow athletes to develop different skills instead of working on the same four figures all season. Figures are different for each age group so that athletes are working on figures that are appropriate for their skill level and stage of development. Next, I'm gonna go through how a figure competition actually works. So as you can see, all athletes wear the same thing. They all wear black suits and white caps, and they swim out one at a time in front of a panel of judges. So this athlete here is going to swim her first figure, and once she is done, then the next athlete will swim the same figure. Once everyone has swam the first figure, everyone will swim the second figure, and so on and so forth until all four figures are done. Before the athlete started swimming the figure, she swam out to be in line with the orange marker in front of the judges, and the goal is to be in line with that marker for the entire figure. There are some parts of figures that are supposed to move, but unless noted, there isn't any travel in figures. Once the athlete finishes the figure, she swims off, the judges flash their scores, and the next athlete swims on to compete the same figure. Judges' scores would be a whole other video, but some things that they're looking for include if the athlete is traveling when they're not supposed to be during a figure, how high they are out of the water, the accuracy of the positions that they're supposed to be showing, their flexibility and flexibility positions, their extension, and how controlled their figure is. So we're looking for uniform motion and the athlete showing control throughout. We don't want them bouncing and we don't want them going faster in some parts of the figure than others. Once every athlete has completed the first figure, they move on to the second figure and generally then it's started by a new athlete. So if athlete one started the first figure, then athlete four might start the second figure. All the athletes then swim the second figure all in a row just like they did with the first one. So here you can see that Ariana figure that we were looking at earlier and after this athlete goes just like before, she's going to come out of the figure, swim off, judges will flash their scores and the rest of the athletes will compete figure two. Unlike other sporting events, there's no cheering or applause during a figure competition. Athletes just swim off and there's no noise from the spectators. This is mostly so that the next athlete can stay focused and judges don't get distracted during the event. For larger competitions, athletes may be split between two, three, or four panels of judges. So they have to do one figure in front of one set of judges and their second figure instead of another set of judges. And that will just depend on the number of athletes and the size of the competition. The final figure awards are a combination of all four figures. Athletes do not get awards for individual figures at most competitions. I hope this helped give you a better understanding of how figure competitions work. And I look forward to making a video on how judging in figures work soon. See you at the pool.